All right, so as y'all know, Ken did drop. Uh, it wasn't more chaos, but he did indeed drop a single called Delusional. And I saw a lot of feedback. A lot of people love the song. A lot of people really like the song. I personally really like the song. I think it's a better single than Overseas, to be honest. There was some backlash about it. And that brings us into the conversation of, does Ken Carson need to change his sound? Now, this isn't necessarily a new topic because I've seen people saying this in the comments on Twitter or on Instagram when he's been previewing new, more chaos snippets. But people have to realize that this is kind of, this is the direction he's going. Like, people want to hear more chill Ken Carson songs, but the album is called More Chaos. You know, it's a, the, a great chaos kind of like uh what they call it predecessor or something it's the album after great chaos so it's gonna have that sound i don't think that ken is like going to a point where he can't change his sound or he's one dimensional or like they're saying you know it's worth a little conversation so let's just talk about it and obviously it's not gonna be a they hate kobe video if i don't give my opinion at the end i'm gonna let y'all know what i think <laughs> Nobody better than Ken, bro. Ain't nobody better than this nigga, bro. He clear opium, bro. Now, as y'all can see, Duty, which is another fellow underground YouTuber, bro. Shout out Duty. He really enjoyed this song, which I really enjoyed it too. Now, him saying that Ken is the best in opium, is he the best? It's up for interpretation. He's obviously better than Long. He's better than Long right now. Is he better than Cardi? I don't know, bro. Like, we don't get music from Cardi for real, bro. Who do I enjoy more and who do I listen to more right now? Ken Carson. Then we have people like this that sparked this video idea for me was uh, Angel Says sounds the same as his other 400 similar songs. It's not even that many songs that have this sound, bro. It's literally only a great chaos in the snippets that he's previewed. But since A Great Chaos has been dragged out for a little minute, I think it's been out for like a year now. But since A Great Chaos has been out for a while, like it's kind of playing back in people's heads. And, you know, it's not a lot of people that think like this, but there is a few. Ken Carson fans, after hearing the same for the, you know what I'm saying, that many times, bro. Now, this is also something I wanted to talk about. Since Ken has been on this new sound, or it hasn't even necessarily been two years with a great chaos sound, but in two years, he's going up like 9 million monthly listeners, bro. So it's not like he's doing something wrong. This is a great move for his career. Eventually, he will have to switch from this sound, or at least evolve it a little bit. He has evolved it somewhat, but I mean, there isn't much you can do with the Rage beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we got some more people saying, why does every beat sound the same and mixed horribly? I don't, I don't think this guy understands why mixed a certain way because that's kind of the sound but he did have a crazy bar in there and whipping it like a slave then we have some more people with the same take the duty hat ken is carrying opium on his back right now do i think he is low-key to be honest nobody's really talking about the cardi album bro i mean cardi can bait and do this then the third all he wants bro to be honest, i think he's insecure about his music too he might have the same thing so fago got bro cardi just want to keep baiting and not actually dropping music so we don't really have anything to judge Cardi off of, bro, except for him dropping like Instagram songs and SoundCloud songs. We need Cardi to put out a real body of work so that we can put them up against each other, bro. But as it's looking right now, Ken Carson is the, you know what I'm saying, the top lead in Opium, bro. This song even sparked Ken Carson is better than Lil Uzi Vert convos, which I don't think is true. I think Uzi is a better artist than Cardi, bro. I mean, I've been thinking that since whenever bro but uzi just doesn't know how to pick songs uzi picks horrible songs i don't know who in the stew with him saying that oh you should do this one you should do this one but he can't pick songs to save his life obviously we got another one i've already heard this before which we talked about that then we got a guy saying i must be getting old because this ain't it i don't think bro hearing it uh i hear it though i hear it. now i don't know what this guy was talking about ken carson turned from one of the most unique rappers to one of the most corny and worst of this generation corny and worst is crazy he is a little bit corny, and we gonna get into that. Uh, worst is kind of crazy. He still makes good music, bro. He was unique, you know what I'm saying? And he's not as unique anymore, but he's still Ken Carson. And here's another example. We got people saying he needs to stop going in this direction with his music. It's becoming one-dimensional, which I think it's too early to talk like that, bro. At least let him get this more chaos album out the way, and then if he keeps on with this same sound, then we know. But I think that this is just the sound that he has right now bro it's a great chaos more chaos let's just let him get this album out the way and then he can progress his sound and change or do whatever go back and kind of mix blend them both together ken carson is the greatest rapper ever he's pushing it but um, y'all know it wouldn't be a day head cover video if i didn't give my own opinion 
Now, what do I think about the situation? I think it's too early for us to judge, like I've been saying, bro. Let's just let him get these albums out the way. We we got a great chaos. Let him get more chaos out the way. If he keeps previewing snippets and it's sounding the same, then obviously we could be on the, the one dimensional, blah, 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 blah. But I'm pretty sure this is just like, it's just concept album. A great chaos was a concept album. Just like if, if Looks Could Kill was a concept album. Just like 2093 was a concept album. Just like Pink Hearts was a concept album. Um. I would say Say So Says by Che is a concept album also. They all cater to a certain sound or they're all kind of built off a certain type of wave that they want to ride. Now, the sound, them picking the sound that they want to use usually comes from them putting out a single and it's hitting. So they're like, oh, okay, this is the kind of sound I want to take or they really enjoy that sound so they want to stick to it so my answer is it's way too early to judge ken carson and say that he's one dimensional which we already know he's not because he's had different sounds in the past it's not like he's been doing the same thing since when we first found him in 2020 or wherever y'all found him uh while we're here we can talk about this i was gonna make a video on this like a just a separate video but uh ken basically explained ken basically explained the use of the upside down crosses in the pentagram and his imagery and he said saint peter felt less worthy than jesus and i feel the same way i'm no god so why would i come to you as if i am my job is to piss people off and then the guy pitchfork interviewer asked why is that your job ken said because mfers are retarded like they never seen a scary movie question mark now i don't know if y'all are like active in my community i usually post like anything random like a meme or something or or just something that you know what i'm saying just to get the people talking and just see what y'all see where y'all heads are at uh i posted that screenshot and i said y'all buying this then we got he's not fooling anyone <laughs> he's right about the cross meaning but i can't back bro up on a pentagram now let me get into the cross meaning bro now a lot of people defend opium with the upside down cross saying it's saint peter's cross saint peter's cross was upside down but that's not how they're using it obviously not if they're adding in pentagrams and stuff bro right here realizes that you know what i'm saying you can't back up the pentagram so it's obvious you're not using the upside down cross for saint peter's then we got tm ballhog loyal subscriber bro he said that doesn't even make sense he basically just said he's a glorified rage baiter but then at that point it's not even rage bait because like he didn't bait anybody he genuinely got that tatted on him. so it's like <laughs> i don't know but like and this guy said bro think we goofies he got to bro because i'm i ain't buying it hey but yeah y'all uh that's pretty much it appreciate y'all for watching this video make sure y'all follow me on all my socials they hate kobe with two eyes on twitter they hate kobe on instagram um i've seen a few of y'all dm me on instagram asking about like will i listen to albums and this that and the third uh nah bro not yet i don't think i'm doing like or paid promos or anything right now bro i might occasionally go live depending on who drops the album i might go live and we might do a live album listening party and y'all get my takes live something like that but other than that bro i'm not gonna react to y'all separate music i had a few people dm me and ask me to uh listen to their music or their album like in a video or something and i'm not doing that so yeah um, appreciate y'all for watching i'm up peace